Mr. President, extremely powerful bombs of a new type may be constructed. Germany has actually stopped the sale of uranium. We should start our own nuclear program. Two men, bound by their unparalleled intellect, forever haunted by the specter of their creations. This is their story, a tale of brilliance, ambition, and the heavy cost of progress. Oppenheimer and Einstein, the architects of the Atomic Age. Did you know that the dawn of the Atomic Age was not just about scientific breakthroughs, but also a saga filled with human drama and ethical dilemmas? At the center of our narrative are two enigmatic figures, Julius Robert Oppenheimer and Albert Einstein. Picture Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb, witnessing the fiery birth of his creation in the New Mexico desert. Then imagine Einstein, the genius behind relativity, whose equations forever changed our understanding of the universe. But these men were not just scientists. They were complex characters, their lives a testament to the passion and paradox that often accompany great discovery. As we delve into their lives, we'll uncover a story that's as compelling as it is complex. And there is a catch. Despite their monumental contributions, both of these men would later be haunted by the destructive power they had unleashed. Why did they feel this way? And what other secrets did they carry with them? Let's unravel the enigmas of Oppenheimer and Einstein and reveal the hidden truths of the atomic age. Three, two, one, zero. Our story begins in the early 20th century with two individuals living worlds apart yet bound by a shared fascination for the mysteries of the universe. Born in 1904 in the bustling heart of New York City, the young J. Robert Oppenheimer roamed the streets, his pockets filled with rocks and minerals. Each one was a treasure, a secret of the universe waiting to be unraveled. This insatiable curiosity was the spark that would ignite his journey into the world of physics. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, Albert Einstein, born in 1879 in the quaint German town of Ulm, was already a renowned physicist in Europe. His work on the theory of relativity was redefining our understanding of space and time, setting him on a path that would lead him to international fame. As they grew, their paths diverged and converged in unexpected ways. Einstein, escaping the rise of Nazism, found refuge in the United States. His name became synonymous with genius, his theories reshaping the world of physics. Oppenheimer, on the other hand, crossed the Atlantic in the opposite direction. He delved into the complex world of quantum mechanics in the University of Göttingen Academic Halls in Germany. His brilliance shone brightly, marking him as a rising star in the world of physics. Their lives were a testament to the power of curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Yet, as they stood on the precipice of greatness, neither could have foreseen how their work would intersect in the most dramatic ways. Their paths, once parallel, were destined to collide, setting the stage for a chapter in history that would forever change the world. In the late 1930s, as the world teetered on the brink of war, Albert Einstein, a staunch pacifist, found himself wrestling with a chilling prospect. The specter of nuclear weapons, particularly in the hands of the Nazis, haunted his thoughts. This fear, relentless and gnawing, spurred him into action. 
In 1939, Einstein, driven by this dread, signed a letter drafted by physicist Leo Szilard. The words, a stark warning about the devastating potential of atomic energy, flowed onto the paper. The letter urged the United States to develop its own nuclear research program, a plea born from a profound understanding of the power of the atom and a fear of its misuse. This letter, now known as the einstein sillard letter, marked a turning point in history. It ignited the Manhattan Project, a top-secret endeavor shrouded in mystery and urgency. Born from Einstein's endorsement and Szilard's warning, this project would forever alter the course of human history. As the flames of World War II engulfed the world, the United States embarked on a mission of unprecedented scale and ambition. The Manhattan Project had a daunting objective, to harness the atom's destructive power and forge a weapon capable of ending the war. Oppenheimer, already recognized as a rising star in the world of physics, was chosen to lead this colossal undertaking. His task was to use his expertise in theoretical physics to inspire and lead a team of the era's brightest minds, including Nobel laureates and future scientific luminaries. In secret laboratories scattered across the U.S., they raced against time, and their work was shrouded in secrecy and urgency. The specter of Germany developing an atomic bomb first added a layer of tension to their already Herculean task. In the early hours of July 16, 1945, the world was unknowingly on the brink of a new era. In the desolate landscape of New Mexico, a device codenamed the Gadget was perched atop a steel 100-foot tower. It was a spherical device covered in cables, approximately six feet in diameter. Its core was a small grapefruit-sized plutonium sphere surrounded by a shell of conventional explosives. These explosives were designed to compress the plutonium to a critical density, triggering a nuclear chain reaction. The design was so complex and precise that it earned the seemingly innocuous nickname, the Gadget. But beneath its unassuming exterior, it held the power to unleash destruction on an unprecedented scale. It was no ordinary gadget. It was the world's first atomic bomb, a culmination of years of intense research and development under the Manhattan Project. As the countdown began, the tension was palpable. Ten, nine, eight. The scientists and military personnel located in bunkers 10,000 yards away from the steel tower in the desert held their breath in anticipation. And then a blinding flash lit up the dark sky. followed by an enormous mushroom cloud stretching up to 40,000 feet. The first atomic bomb had been successfully detonated. As Oppenheimer witnessed the terrifying spectacle, a line from the Hindu scripture Bhagavad Gita echoed in his mind, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Oppenheimer's haunting reaction encapsulated the awe, fear, and guilt that many involved in the project felt. They had unleashed a force of unprecedented destructive power, and the world would never be the same again. Just weeks after the successful Trinity test, the world witnessed the devastating power of the atomic bomb. On August 6th and 9th, 1945, the USA leveled the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan with nuclear bombs. The immediate death toll was staggering, and the long-term effects of radiation exposure claimed many more lives in the following years. The bombings brought World War II to a swift conclusion and marked the dawn of the atomic age. The world had witnessed the destructive power of nuclear weapons, and the geopolitical landscape would never be the same again. The Manhattan Project architects wrestled with their creation's consequences in the United States. The horror of the destruction overshadowed the joy of scientific achievement. The ethical implications of their work, once theoretical, were now starkly real. 
In the aftermath of the nuclear bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, both Einstein and Oppenheimer grappled with the weight of their roles in the birth of the atomic age. Their contributions, once sources of pride, had become burdens of regret. Einstein, whose letter to President Roosevelt had indirectly spurred the development of the atomic bomb, expressed his remorse, saying, Had I known that the Germans would not succeed in developing an atomic bomb, I would have done nothing. Oppenheimer, too, faced a profound moral reckoning. The events in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which resulted in immense loss of life, weighed heavily on him. He initially supported the development of the hydrogen bomb, a weapon far more powerful than the atomic bombs he had helped create. However, he soon opposed its development, voicing his concerns about the escalating nuclear arms race. Einstein and Oppenheimer navigated a nuanced relationship marked by mutual respect, shared experiences, and ideological differences. Einstein admired Oppenheimer's scientific prowess and leadership. In return, Oppenheimer saw Einstein as a guiding light in the field of physics. Their interactions extended beyond scientific discussions, such as when Oppenheimer arranged a surprise for Einstein's birthday and showed up on his doorstep with a radio so they could listen together to a classical concert. However, their views on scientific theories diverged. Einstein was skeptical of quantum theory a field Oppenheimer significantly contributed to. Additionally, while Einstein doubted the existence of black holes, Oppenheimer made critical theoretical contributions that supported their existence. The McCarthy era tested their relationship further. When Oppenheimer was targeted for his past communist ties and stripped of his security clearance, Einstein stood by him. Their relationship remained cordial. They were two men, bound by their shared love for physics, navigating the turbulent waters of a world at war and the dawn of the atomic age. Their paths, as diverse as they were, shaped by their contributions to developing nuclear weapons, converged in their shared advocacy for peace and disarmament later in their lives. Enjoyed our video? It will help us a lot if you hit the like button. Now choose the next one to watch.